hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to do how to delete the data from database by confirming it okay so we will be using sweet alert to delete the data confirm and delete the data so as we saw where we use this record of deleting the data by jquery alert right so guys now we are not going to use this alert instead of this we will be using sweet alert okay so for example let me just scroll it down okay it's uh, over here okay here is something for deleting so swell and then it is working and let's click on this you can see are you sure once deleted you will not be to recover this uh, let me say okay and you are deleted if you cancel then it will say you have cancel okay so this is the code which we will be copying and implementing it so before copying make sure you have copied your cdn link so this cdn link i have already copied over here as just pasted in my layout folder called frontend.php and yes guys now let's continue to our uh, coding so let's go below and copy the code so this is the code now let's copy right click and copy so let's go to our project and over here you can see the delete so this delete page so let's move to this table page where it is on index.php file so this is my index.php and this is the confirm and delete button let me just minimize this sidebar where you can see that delete button is there the delete button is here now you have to assign one class for this button so for example we have given confirm delete button and inside this button i have passed one id also that is the table row id which is in the value now let us make a jquery code for to access this data id from this button value so let's get down and as you see in that previous video we have done something right so let me just comment all the things which i don't need and let's type the code so let's tell jq doc where a document will be ready then you have to use click function jq click and inside this click you are going to call the button name so confirm delete button just now view which you copied okay and then we have to call the code of it so what will you call so before calling that i want to call the id of it so this id value of this button id so let me just copy and paste it again over here so this is how you call dollar this of value so dollar this means when you click on this button it will take its value and store in this this variable called id and after that you want to use that sweet alert thing so now let's get back to a browser and let's go over here let's copy this and now paste over here as simple it's very clear and code okay so now let's save this and let's test with it so let's go over here let me refresh and let's click on delete you can see are you sure if i give okay it will tell this okay so now let's code that if we click if we click okay that time the data should get deleted so for that we have to give some ajax query so as you see in this if condition else condition is there now let me just remove this and over here you are going to type the ajax code so to delete the code ajax query i have already written which was in the previous video and here is the code so let's copy this ajax code and paste over here that's it simple query for ajax and now guys create a route with this and pass the id into this what id you are passing is nothing but this id which you have bought it so once it is success that time you want to show the message how will you show that so let's remove this and use again this function only so for that uh, let's use the same format how will you let me just copy this and paste it again over here and remove all not required things so from buttons to make it to button okay and over here you can make okay okay and then what uh, the response you are getting you have to paste over here 
So let's remove this data from here. I mean this text values. And then guys, whatever the response you're getting. So in that response dot title, right? So we'll give direct status and then copy this again. We'll just mention with the response status called text and this response status where you're going to tell us icon status icon. So now after this, we will use then open bracket, close bracket, give semicolon inside this. You have to open and close curly braces. And now let's type over here as simple when you're going to then, then you have to use this uh, windows dot relocation. So reload function. So let me just copy this and paste. That's it. So this is the code. Now once if we run, everything will be successful. So how will you get this response? So let's go to this route called confirm delete. Let's go to routes. And here is the confirm delete route which is going to the confirm delete function with the ID over here. Okay. So let's go to confirm delete at the student controller, student controller, little below you can see confirm delete function over here with the ID. And now guys, you, nothing is returned over here. It's written dummy. So now let's return the correct value. What are you going to set the response? So we will send the response using JSON format. Okay. So how to send that? So if you don't know about that, how to send, you have to go to your coordinator documentation where you can see that HTTP response. And inside that you can find the set JSON. Okay. Just search with that. You will find the data over here. So let's copy this format. Let me copy. Okay. Control C and get back and paste over here. So let's paste and remove this as simple and clear. Okay. So we are setting the data and sending the data. So what are you going to send? So that will be status where you are going to tell that status will be as deleted successfully and then status status underscore text. So this status underscore text is nothing but your this value. Okay. So what you are going to send is over here from here. You will from here. You are going to send to that index function. Okay. And inside this, I will be sending like a uh, text, your data or your student data has been deleted successfully. Okay. And then final one, one status icon. So status icon, as you know, that could uh, this sweet alert provides with two things like four, which is about success. So let me give success over here. If it is success, it will come. Let's remove this semicolon. That's it. So now over here, you need to add comma. Now it's perfect. So all the data will be sent from here and then it will call these values in your index as simple. So guys, now let us click and save. Let's save and let's change this else condition. You have canceled on deleting this data that's it save and now let's get back and refresh and delete the data so before deleting i want to add one dummy data and show you let's type some dummy details let's save okay student inserted successfully so guys this is the 14th id now i want to delete this so let's click on delete okay something went wrong let me just inspect and see what is that not working for. Let's go on console and you can see, okay, an, syntax error. Let us click on this. Let us see where it's going. Let's just wait for it. Let's refresh. Move. Okay, here is the error. So why? Let's move. Okay. Okay. Yes, we have missed that one over here. The then function passes some parameter. So you can write anything confirmed 
you can just give any value and send that into this forward is equal to and forward arrow okay let's save this and now it doesn't give an error so let's move and let's refresh once again and see any error is there or not okay there is no error these are another things so let's move on and click on delete so let's see that are you sure you want to delete i'm going to tell yes okay okay so you can find that data deleted successfully let's give okay on that okay it will reload the page okay and then your data is deleted so guys this is how we delete the data using sweet alert by confirming it so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share